Hello, everybody. All right. So let's see. I see Katie and I see Kara. All right, guys. Welcome. Sorry, I was just grabbing my food out of the oven. Um, okay, so I um we want to talk a lot about mindset. I think it's something that we focused on previously a lot more, and I think it's super important. Um, and after this weekend at the event, uh, Dr. Don and Pam were talking about it so much. And I think that everybody just needs kind of a refresher. And so, um, Stacy and I decided to have, uh, someone that is not new in the business and someone that is new in the business, kind of talking about the mindset, because I truly believe if your mind is right, everything else is right. If your mind is right, your business will explode. Um, you know, period you will have longevity in this business and you will have success in the business. So make sure you take notes from these ladies um, because they got it going on. And we will go ahead and get started. Katie, would you like to go first? Oh crap, let me unmute you. It doesn't want to let me. Well, she froze, so she'll probably be back on. But, all right. Um, yeah, so my um, it is like my lifeline. The secret is something that I can turn to no matter what, if I'm feeling awesome, if I'm feeling down. And it doesn't even have to be about the business. It could be about anything in life in general. So you're having, you know, a crap day at work, or maybe something's going on with your significant other, or maybe something is going on, or, I mean, maybe you just have to drive across town and you don't want to hit every single red light <laughs> and you just have to get there fast. Like the secret comes in handy and it is all about what you put out to the universe you're going to get back. So my personal favorite thing is sticky notes and everyone who's been in the business with me for a while <laughs> knows that the sticky note method is like my thing. Um, so I have sticky notes all over my house and it is not just for my goals. It is for my team's goals. So I'm putting out to the universe that Sally is going diamond. I'm putting out to the universe that I have, uh, 50,000 in volume. I'm putting out to the universe that I sign um, two customers and a distributor every day, or that I sign 200 BV every day. I put it out to the universe and I put them all over my house. So they are on my microwave, they're on my fridge, they're on my cabinets, they're on my front door, they are on my bedroom wall. And it is the same thing as like your dream board. So you put your, your dreams and your goals on your board, but your board is only in one spot and maybe you're not going to see it every single day. So when you put things on sticky notes and you're walking around your house and you know, maybe you just got a bad phone call or whatever. Well, the second you look to your right, there's going to be a sticky note and it's going to say like your goal or what you want in the future or what you want for your team or what your team deserves. So, um, the sticky note method has been really, really, really helpful, helpful for me. Um, the secret also has a Facebook page and for some reason it always seems to just pop up every single time that I am in a mood. Um, I'm not like huge on the word funk just because I feel like when you're in a funk, then you say you're in a funk and then you're just really in a funk. So when I'm in one of those moods, it's just like when you, like you search something on Amazon and then all of a sudden it's like all over or you buy a car and you're like, no one has this car. And then you finally have it. And then you look everywhere and it's just everywhere. It's the same thing. The secret, their Facebook page, it just like pops out at you at the right time, every single time. So I recommend, um, typing into Facebook, the secret and following their, their page if you guys are readers, they have a book for The Secret as well. So um, this is something so huge that they have different ways for people to connect to it. 
Um, and I, you can find it um, as a DVD, you can find it on YouTube, and you can find it on Netflix. And all you have to do is search it and it's there. And honestly, guys, I don't like to tell you to put your phones down, but this is something that you need to do. Put your phones down for an hour and a half, get your mind right, put everything aside. If you have kids, ask your significant other, your mom, family member, someone to watch your kids and just say, hey, I just need like an hour and a half. Do you mind assisting me? And I'm just gonna get my mind right because I have big goals. Put your phone down, get, get there. And um, I mean, take notes. There's huge things on there too. He, he says that he's gonna make X amount of money by this time. And he writes it down and he makes it out to himself. And sure as crap, a couple years later, guess where he's at? He's in that exact same spot that he envisioned himself to be. So um, just getting your mind right is number one about um, like living and having a positive lifestyle. Um, and I will say this, the business does have its ups and downs, okay? There's some people that you can really connect to, and there's some people that you really connect to, to where you butt, you butt heads. And Christy and I butt heads there for a minute, and even though we don't hate each other, we, you know, it took a minute for us to realize, like, we're friends and we're friends for a reason. And it was mainly me. I'm just extremely stubborn. But um, when I felt anger or I felt like something wasn't right or you know whatever my business took a poop like it went down and I I just didn't care but the second that I finally found myself and I finally told myself I have to let things go I have to realize that it's more than just my stubbornness it's more than um you know whatever is going on it is about friendship fun and freedom and that is everything that this business can give us. The moment I let all that go, guess what? My business is exploding again. My friendship is stronger than it was before, okay? So it doesn't even have to be about the business. It could just be about anything. And the second you just let that go, your mind is like, like a whole new cannabis. And you can, cannabis? <laughs> canvas? <laughs> I'm yeah, mom brain <laughs> canvas and you can Don't lie. Things. She lives in she lives in Colorado. Don't lie. Uh yeah, well paint a whole canvas of anything, anything that you want. And just letting go of everything really allowed me to just paint something again. And I remade a dream board and I remade sticky notes and the fire is there. The fire is absolutely there. The friendships that I have and had are stronger than ever before. So um, there was something else I wanted to touch on, but like I said, I got almost two weeks old and I'm a little pooped out. But um, yeah, I will turn it back to Christy for a second. I, th I think I lost her. No, I'm, I'm back. Okay, you guys, my oh, wife okay. is just like... Hulu today. So if I disappear, just know you're all still on. Um, okay. So I want to ask you guys one thing and, and either one of you guys, whenever you want to say something, just, just, you can go. Um, but I want to ask you guys something and this has always been, I've heard this before. And then I think I just forgot it cause it was years ago. And then Dr. Don said it again, um, this weekend. And I can't remember if it was at dinner or where it was, but anyways, so he just said, what if every single one of your thoughts came true? Like, think about that. Like, think about that for real. What if every single one of your thoughts came true? It's mind blowing when you actually think about that. And I remember Pam once said, write down all your thoughts for one day. Keep a notebook with you. Keep a piece of paper with you. Write down every time you think something, whether it's negative, positive, random, whatever, write it down and then go back to it at the end of the day and you will see where your focus and where your mind truly is. And 
it is so true, you guys. What you think about and how you feel is what will come about. And um, it's so true what Katie was saying because you could say, I'm amazing, I'm amazing, I'm amazing, I'm amazing. And then you sit on a couch and you feel like garbage. And you're like, but Katie said, I'm amazing, I'm amazing, I'm amazing. But you're sitting on a couch and you feel like crap and you're not doing anything. And you know, in your actual like feelings, you're feeling negative. It can't be like that. They have to go together. It has to be the good feelings with the positive thoughts. And sometimes I know that's hard. Um, but when you focus on one, the other will come. Like when I say stuff out loud, I start to believe it. And then I start to get excited. And then I get those good feelings. But truly, like write that, put that on a sticky note on your face or wherever you need to, you're going to see it like 10 times a day. Like, what if everything I thought about came true? You could think of it in a negative way for, you know, stuff you might have been thinking about now, but don't even think about that stuff. It's done. You don't have to be like, what did I say negative today? No, just think of it in a positive way. What do I want? What if everything I think about comes true? That is like powerful, you guys. And it, it's freaking true. Like it's freaking true. And Pam was saying too, because I asked her about the secret, um, put it on your face. I'm serious. Um, <laughs> but I asked Pam, like, what's your thoughts on the secret? Cause I've heard her say something before. She said, it's a great start, but some people take it as magic and don't take the action. Okay. I, I watch the secret, like basically every day going presidential and ambassador, but I did the action with it. Okay. So it's not like, I think I can, I think I can. And then you just sit there all day. Like you, you get those, those thoughts, you say them out loud. It goes, you know, in and then out and then you feel it. And then you put the action in. Katie, were you going to say something? Um, I was just going to say that like, it doesn't even have to be pretty. Okay. And I, t I teach my team this all the time. I have sticky notes galore because I'm a sticky note person. But if, even if you have the ugliest piece of paper, write it on that ugly piece of paper, because guess what? When you conquer that, you finally get to take that ugly piece of paper off of your wall and you don't have to look at it anymore. So that is, that's been something that, um, really helped my team. And they're like, I can't stand this ugly freaking piece of paper that is on my wall. So I am going to get this done today because I deserve it and I'm going to do it. But it's just like Christy was saying, you can't just watch the secret and hope that it's going to happen. You know, when you put out to the universe, I'm going to sign 200 BV, 200 P or BV isn't just going to walk up to you and be like, Hey, I'm a huge order. Sign me. Like, no, you have to, you have to message those people. And you have to put in that work and you have to be posting and you have to be, you have to be working your business. But guess what? When you say you're going to sign 200 BV and you're being positive, it's going to happen. All those no's that you've been getting for a day, a week, a, a year, two years, it's finally going to happen. And it might not happen today, but it might happen tomorrow. And just because it didn't happen today, it's going to happen tomorrow or it's going to happen the day after. Christy just uh, it was like, I think it was like two weeks ago. She had posted that she was going to sign, um, two distributors or something and it didn't happen. She was like, I'm not going to bed until it happens. Well, it didn't happen. Did she beat herself up? No, she went back to work the next day and she ended up signing three distributors. So, I mean, it just, when you put it out there, it just makes you feel better. But if it doesn't happen, you can't beat yourself up because then that's just defeating the whole entire purpose. So um, yeah, no. And that's, you guys, that's so true. Like it has to be something where like you feel good doing it. You're not like, I think I can. And that doesn't happen in 30 seconds. And you're like, it doesn't work. Like this isn't real. It is real when you put the action in. And, um, I, I can't remember if this is a quote or if it's on the secret, but it was basically saying like, have the vision of what you want and the way to get there will come about. And it's so true. I have seen crazy, 
crazy stuff happen for promotions, for life, for health. I have seen crazy stuff happen in such a short amount of time because people didn't know how they were going to get there. They just had the vision they were going to get there. And there was no telling them that it wasn't going to happen. They were like, it's going to happen. And you could ask them how they're like, I don't know. I'm getting to work. Like we're going to get to work, you know? Um, so have that vision. But, um, somebody said, so how do you create a positive? I think I can vision so I can get far. We just, we just said how you do. You put sticky notes, you decide what you want and you get to work. Like for me, I, I have to speak it out loud. So I do like, if I'm in the shower, I'm like, I'm going to sign two distributors today. And some people even talk like as past tense. So I signed two distributors today, you know, and I think that's just as powerful. So you kind of have to like pick your goals and then you go along with that and, you know, do your sticky notes, or your dream board. And it's so funny that you said that too, because I had like the ugliest dream board the last couple of years and it was like on my fridge and Aaron's like, can we move this? It keeps getting stuck places or can we make it look better? Can we put on a nice piece of paper? I'm like, no, because it's like, so like randomly not beautiful that I have to look at it every day. And if it was perfect, it would just blend right into everything. I don't want that. I want it to stand out. Um, okay. So let's see here, Kara. And Katie, you can just kind of talk whenever you want if um, you have anything else to say, but hi. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, sorry, this is the first time I'm doing it on my computer. And I apologize in advance, I'm super sick, so if I break out into a coughing fit, just mute your speakers. Sorry. <laughs> No. I'm okay. Um, so hi everyone. I'm Kara. I don't know if you, any, you, some of you may not know me. Um, tomorrow will be my, uh, two months with the company. Um, I signed with Stacy. Um, she asked me to do this with her about three years ago. Um, I think the conversation started in Facebook and then switched to text and I'm, I'm pretty sure I just told her no. And, uh, I continued to watch her and she posted, over and over again and I liked her pictures over and over again and I just had this feeling one day that it was time to start so I messaged her and I was like okay tell me about it I'm ready to do it and um, here I am two months later um, but mindset mindset super important so um, my boyfriend is actually in sales and marketing with timeshare and I work full-time as a manager for housekeeping in Marriott as well and um, so with sales and marketing, our job is a lot like sales as well. I mean, we're, we're selling people to become distributors. We're selling people to become look, customers. And so mindset is so important. And you can, what my boyfriend likes to say in sales, is you can mind F yourself really quickly. And you got to make sure you don't do that. And the ways I do it or we do it together is we have a support system between the two of us. And, you know, some of you, if you're not in a relationship or, or you um, aren't married, I'm not married, but find a support system. If that's your leader who signed you, somebody who you signed, just you need a support system because that really helps with my mindset. Um, every morning when we wake up, we say three things that we're grateful for. And mine, one of mine is always it works because I never want to go to my full-time job. Um, and so I'm trying really hard to make this, um, to, to, I'm trying to go up fast because I want to quit my job and that's my big goal. So I, whenever I start to get in my head and say, this isn't working for me, I instantly go back to my why, my goal. What, what, why did I start this? And it's to quit my full-time job that I absolutely hate. And, um, and I just remember the things that I'm grateful for. Um, I too have sticky notes all over my condo that says I'm Emerald March, 2018. I'm diamond April, 2018. Cause that's going to happen. Um, so it's just, it's all about, all about taking those no's and realizing that they have um, value, those no's. Because I, I probably messaged like, whew, like 60 people today and I was feeling miserable. But whenever I feel like I don't wanna work, that's when I work the hardest. And that's when I see the most results as well. So like today, called out sick from work and worked my heart out on it works. Had uh, four people on the Zoom and two of them are signing. They, all, they texted me right after and said, uh, all right, I'm ready to get started. So 
it's just taking advantage of all of those the, these opportunities and, and resources that that our leaders give us I don't sorry I, I just kind of ramble and I get nervous I talk really fast but um well are there heads of the else oh yeah amazing <laughs> thanks Stacy so okay the nose so um Stacy texted me this morning and she was like it kind of made me laugh I was like why me and she's like well you get a lot of nose and you stay positive and I start laughing because I do get a lot of nose but the reason I get a lot of nose is because I'm asking so many people and you have to go through those nose to get your yeses so if you're afraid of nose you're not going to go anywhere because you're always going to get those nose and then you need to find the value in those nose because those no's are now watching you. And one of the girls who I messaged today, she goes, I um, asked her, she was interested in the business, never talked to her before in my life. And she was like, but I've interacted on her face, on her Instagram. And she was like, yeah, I've been watching your posts. Post every day, like it's so simple. Like every training, Christy says it's so simple. It really is so simple. And if and if 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 I can do it, anyone can do it. If Christy can do it, Stacey can do it. They're all they're all so successful. We can all be successful. You just have to put in the work. Okay. Does anybody want to be like Kara? Because I'm pretty sure we're all just like smiling at her. She's just <laughs> you're like you're right. Like I can do this. You know, you guys like. <laughs> It, it is really so simple, but what I love about yours is like, you're just, you're just messaging people. You're just posting and like, you're not getting wrapped up in the negative thoughts of being like, they said, no, oh, I'm going to die now. You know, like, exactly. You know, and that, that person's not watching me. Right. And it's because you're focused on the end result, not the end result, but you're focused on the goal of Emerald and Diamond. That's why. Exactly nothing yeah. in between is stopping you and you're just like I love it love it so much like I just think it's so fun <laughs> right and it should be you know you know why you're doing amazing because you're having fun you're like excited to do it when yeah. when, when people are like that they just go and you're like what what are you doing that I'm doing different and it's nothing it's just that you are having a good time and people want to be a part of a good time and the universe is like Kara's amazing <laughs> <laughs> thank you okay so do you have anything else you want to add keep going no I'm good for now I'm gonna cough out some coughs real quick <laughs> okay cool okay Katie do you have anything else you want to add see everybody's smiling now right like yeah, she is freaking adorable. <laughs> Kara, we're going to be best friends. You don't even know me, but we're going to be best friends, okay? <laughs> um, one thing that I had to get over to, and it wasn't even my first, okay, so I went from a distributor to Double Diamond in my first six months, and I was I was ignorant on fire, okay? I didn't care if anyone told me no, and I didn't care if you know, someone sent me hate mail. Like, I don't care. Like, these are my goals. These are my dreams. Poop on my doorstep. I don't care. Like, whatever. But when I finally hit double diamond, that was my goal. And then I was just like, okay, I'm here. I made it. Like, done deal. And then when I tried to get back in the groove, when I got a no, I'm like, what the heck? Like, why are they telling me no? Like, I'm a double diamond. Like, I make good money. Like, what? what's going on? Bye. Thanks for coming over. Um, but what I had to remember, and I can't remember who told me this, was if everyone told you yes, we would all be It Works distributors. What fun would that be? Like, there would be no room to grow, okay? These people tell us no. And they tell us no for a reason, because we need people who work at the grocery store. We need people who work at the gas station. We need, we need doctors. We need, you know, et cetera, et cetera. We need all these things still in life. And just because they tell you no right now, doesn't mean it's going to be no forever. Because when you finally ask them and they tell you no, guess what? That name goes on a list because that is now in their mind. It is planted in their mind that this is a different opportunity for them. And even though there could be like 900 million doctors and you can message all 900 million doctors, the fact that you 
ask them, one of them could sign and that could be your black diamond on your team. But if you don't follow up with them and you don't keep interacting and you don't believe that they're going to be that black diamond on your team, they're not going to be. So you have to keep just believing that these people that tell you no are going to come back and you planted that seed. So now you have to water it and you have to water it and water it and water it. And finally it's going to grow. And then you're going to have this beautiful flower who's going to bloom and it's just going to be the rock star on your team. And I have found that um, like 98% of the time, the people who come to me and say, um, you know, I'm ready. I'm reaching out to you first. I'm ready. Those are the ones that don't really do much. And this, it, like there, it, there are the ones that do do a lot and they are rock stars. However, the ones that I follow up with multiple times and I show them that this business is amazing over and over and over and over, it kind of like puts the belief in them that I'm not going anywhere, that I'm still here working the business. So then they sign and then they do the same thing. They do the same thing over and over and over and over and over. And that creates the lifers. So just showing them that, that you're here, you're not going anywhere and that you believe in them because you believe in yourself. So that is huge. And you can't, you just can't take the no as like a slap in the face. You have to, you have to turn it into something positive and just see the beauty in the no and just keep reaching out and build that relationship and have that friendship. And they're going to be the ones who are going to be maybe not a part of the business, but they're going to be a part of your life. So that has been something really helpful that, um, I've had to completely change my, my whole mindset around that, you know, it doesn't matter if you are a black diamond or an ambassador diamond or a brand new distributor. If people tell you no, it's just a no, and you just have to keep going. And it doesn't matter if you make $5 or if you make $50,000 a month, it doesn't matter where you are. You just have to show people that you are truly committed and then they're going to want to be a part of what you have going on. Yeah. And you guys, no matter what rank you are, even if you're a brand new distributor, you have to do all the same things. As an ambassador, I still, I still get no's. I'm like, you can see it works, right? But it's just like Katie said, like we need people to do other stuff. Like not everybody can be a distributor, you know? So like, it really is just that ignorance on fire. Like just have fun. And I always like to share if you guys are new too. it took me over three months to sign my first customer and distributor over three months. And then there's Katie who was double diamond, um, which some of you guys might not even know how the ranks go. Um, but that's, that's like five to seven grand a month. I mean, sometimes more. Um, and that's huge. And it took her six months. So everybody's journey is going to be different, but if you have like your eye on the prize, which is your, your goal in whatever amount of time, like you will get there. You will get there. And keep in mind too, I've had bonuses, um, that I didn't hit in time, but that's not, that's just a bonus. That's an extra little something, something on my check, which is super nice. But the residual is the lifelong monthly yearly income forever. So keep that in mind too. Um, the bonuses are to just help us get really excited to go fast. Um, okay. So Stacy, Hey y'all. That's up. Okay, so I was just taking a little bit of notes, but I actually went live on my team page a couple days ago and I'm um, going ambassador next month. So I'm putting in like quadruple the efforts that I ever have. So I've been sending out tons and tons of messages. And the other day, it, I don't even know what day it was. I can't, I, my brain was like mush at that point, but I was sending out tons of messages all day long morning, afternoon, night, and I got so many freaking no's, like more no's than I had ever gotten ever in one day. And it's because that I sent out more messages than I probably ever have in one day. Um, but I didn't get one single yes. Like I didn't, like, it was just, a, it was a bad day. And I just thought I'd be real with my team because, you know, sometimes you look at, you know, the top leaders and you think like, oh, they've got it so easy. People just come to them. They go to their website, you know, like, wow, she's signing all these people. Like, no, you guys, 
I do what the company teaches us to do, the steps to success, but I do it more. My goal is not to finish one, it's to finish like three or four every single month. So that's, I just do more of it, more of what we teach you. I just do tons and tons of it. So it was just one of those days where I was, I mean, I woke up in a good mood. I was like, today's awesome. Like, it's going to be great. And then it just got no after no after no. And it's normal. Like, I'm totally used to it. And I'm like, oh, whatever. Like, my yes is coming. And I just kept going, getting no's and no's and no's. And, like, I never get somebody that's rude to me. But that day I did. And it was like, I was almost, like, in tears because of it. And, like, I don't ever get that way. Um, but I say this to you guys because you keep going through those hurdles and I did not assign one single person that day, even though I was so, I was trying so hard to, but I didn't, but the next day I woke up and I signed like three people. So, um, you just go through the hurdles and there's going to be some really, really bad days, but some really good days. But when your mind is right, even on those bad days, when you are having a bad day, when you just don't want to do anything, you don't even want to brush your hair or anything at all. Um, if your mind is right and you're like, you're, you're, you're growing your mind and all of that, like, it's okay. Like you're going to get over it. You're going to get past it and you are going to like rise so way bigger than you ever thought. So, um, Pam also said that, you know, for me, I, it's been two years since I promoted and I hate saying that because I promoted so quickly once I had two feet in the door, once I had two feet and I was all in, like I promoted really quickly and then it's two years now that I haven't promoted. Um, and it's okay. Like Chrissy said, our, every journey is different, but for me, I'm, I'm very hard on myself and obviously I wanted to be ambassador like two years ago. Um, so one thing I just noticed and, and having gone through life and all of that, like I was scared of, of the hard work. I was scared of all of those no's and I was, I was just scared of all of it. And so I had so much fear and my kids are about to run in here crying and screaming. Um, <laughs> oh no. Okay. One second. Um, so, <laughs> oh gosh, today's been one of those days. Anyway, um, one second, baby. She said, Pam said something. She said, Say hi. Okay, she said, fear isn't something that disappears. You just bring it along with you and you do it. And just go. Okay, one second. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, no. That really hurts. <laughs> um, okay, so anyways, I had a lot of fear with me. And when she said that, like, it's so true. Like, if you do not have fear at some point or another, like, while you're go going through these promotions and you're hitting month end and you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm, like, a thousand BB away. Like, I mean, it's a rush, and it's a good rush. But, like, it's scary. It's, you're like, I was full of fear for so long. And, like, you, if you want, if, if you have a why and you have a goal to go for, like, and you're going for it, the only way to do it is to actually just keep doing it, no matter what is holding you back, you know, and, and the devil gets in your mind, and he tries to make you believe, not believe in yourself, and all of that, so, um, I'm totally distracted, but anyways, just, if you have fear, that's okay, it's normal, but just keep on going, and just know that no's are a part of every single one of our journeys, like, I'm sure that Stephanie and Joel Dunn get the most no's out of everybody. And it's because they, they work the hardest. They are the number one in converters. And if they, they got yeses all the time, they probably would be like bored of their job. You know, they'd be like, eh. <laughs> but like, even, you know, if I get no's, a lot of people, even on social media, no matter how consistent and how many times I post, people don't realize what I do. They don't know. And so when I'm messaging them, they're like, no, thanks they don't even care to like ask what it is or anything, but that's okay. Cause I'm just going to keep on messaging the closer you are to a yes. And I truly believe that. And so just keep on going, just keep, um, fueling your mind with positivity, whatever it takes books, so, videos or whatever. Um, so I wanted to add something to that. Uh, we talked a lot of this weekend too about, um, um well, maybe that's just what I took from it. I am echoing it. Thank you for subscribing. Um, um, so, Stacey, oh, <laughs> okay. Um, so, anyways, so 
Amber and I were talking and she's amazing. She's like the most personal, the personally developed person I know, <laughs> basically in so many words. And you know, something that she said was, um, your income will grow when you grow. It's so true. You guys, you need to be doing some form of personal development for me. Like the secret is a form of personal development. I asked Dr. Don, um, and he's like a, like psychology, you know, like he had it all going on. I said, what's like a book that you would recommend? And you know what he said? The magic of thinking big. I'm like, I'm actually in the middle of that. I've been in the middle of it for like six months, but I should probably finish it. <laughs> but, and I was like, okay, now I will. But seriously, like your income will grow when you grow, grow as a person, grow as a friend. And something that we were talking about too, is that, you know, you only go through stuff so that you can show somebody else how to get through it when they're going through it. And it is, it is so true. Like when people say, well, I have, I'm in a month that I haven't signed anybody. I'm like, let me tell you about me. You know, like I, I only went that way because I had to be able to show somebody else that they can still do it. Even if that's been their journey so far, but like doing just a little bit of personal development each day when you wake up and then each night when you, you know, go to bed, it's so huge. You guys like for me, um, I do like a motivational video, like while I work out and then before bed, I read a little bit of a book and then do scriptures and prayer. Like I pray over my business. I pray over my team. Like I, it's just, it's just important to know that you're not by yourself. You guys, like we are here and the, the friendships fun and the freedom that's real. Like people get in for the money, but you guys will stay for the friendships and the fun. Like it, it really is true, you know, cause you could be making a million dollars, but why would you want to make any more? Why? Because you want more friendships and more fun. And that's um, why you go to events because you will find the best of friends at all of the events. Yes, seriously. That's when you can bond. You like get that like locker room bond, you know? So that's why you should all be at the retreat, you know, so you should hustle there. Um, the, the book is just the magic of thinking big. Um, and I love it because it's small, even though I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> it's small. It's not a big book. I'm like, yeah. Um, so now I'm going to finish it, but I want to share, uh, one last story with you guys. And it was one of the girls who I actually did not know her story. Um, she was on one of the panels this weekend and she was kind of just talking about like in-person parties that she does. And she shared her story. And this was huge. This was huge for me because I did not know this and it was kind of a light bulb. And what she said was she found this business right after she lost her, her baby. Okay. I, I don't remember how old he was. Um, I think he was like under a year, but she, she lost her baby boy. And within, I think like a few months, she found this business and she connected with a distributor who had also lost her baby and she found it and she kept praying and praying and praying for something that would bring her out of this depression. And when she found the business, it was honestly just for product. Um, and then she went to it, like she met them in person and she knew that this was her calling. She said she did her first party and, and at her first party, there was, someone who said like, this is, I, what was it like putting, she's like, this is the way I'm going to be able to put food on my table. And, um, she knew that like, that's what's going to get her out of her depression. That's what's going to change her life. And she said, what has helped her so much was the friendships in this business. Like this business, you guys, like, it's not just about the money. You can truly change people from the inside out. Like I could say a thousand times over, but the friendships and the bonds that you make will be lifelong and they will be life changing. And so get your goals up, focus on what you want, but then get on your phone, get on your computer, get out at a party and focus on them because there are so many people that need this business. You might look at it like, well, everyone I know has a great job. So many people that I know in this business 
were completely struggling or depressed behind closed doors, okay? Even if they had a great job, um, they were in debt. It was causing their marriage problems. But when you are in this business, like in order to be successful, you do have to grow as a person and you do have to focus on helping other people. And when you do that, your business will grow and your purpose will grow. That was one of my things because, you know, they always wanted to share like because of it works and my son is playing our freaking piano, <laughs> but they always wanted to share our because of it works. And I could name, great, I have a house, I have a car. It's, you know, we don't have any debt, but you know, I'm at home with my family, which is the most important thing. But honestly, it's way different now. I truly feel like I have a purpose, like a purpose that's just bigger than making money to survive. A purpose that's bigger than getting a raise on my paycheck so that I can take an extra vacation. Like you guys all are here for a reason and you all have a bigger purpose and it's your choice to take advantage of it or not. You know, like we all have our agency. You have to decide if you want to take advantage of it and have the bigger purpose and really change people's lives, including your own. Some of you guys are like, girl, that's me. Like <laughs> I need the change. Your change will come when you help other people make their change. That is the beautiful thing about this business. Right. right. And so, one so. thing about that, the no's get so much easier when you actually focus on other people. If it's all about you and you keep getting no's, you're going to quit. But when you invest in other people, no matter how many no's you get, you're in it for life because the feeling you get when somebody texts you and says, thank you for changing my life. I love this. This is so fun. Like, thank you for bugging me for the past five years. <laughs> that is worth every single no that you get. Yeah. And you'll hear, you guys, a lot of people's stories that are, you know, emeralds, diamonds, doubles, triples on this thing, they'll start their story with, well, I was, I really was annoyed with Christy's post or, uh, Stacy kept following up with me and I just didn't want it, but guess what? They're here now. <laughs> so it's fine. Everybody wants it. It just might be the first time you talk to them or it might be in a year But in that time. Other people will be ready. So, um, I hope that, you know, you guys liked this and I hope that you took tons of notes because I took tons of notes from Katie and from Kara. Um, I was like looking for a paper. I was like, ah, hurry up. Um, so if you guys don't need any help or have any questions, I hope that you guys have a good night and make sure, um, you get people in the Emerald push page. It is amazing. And make sure you finish those tasks because they're so simple and they're so specific that people are just doing amazing with them. Get Can I have one last thing? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. So another thing is, um, changing your wording on what you're putting out. Instead of saying, I'm going to get five LCs or I'm going to sign or blah, 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 or, um, yeah, whatever, change it to, I deserve to change three people's lives today, or I deserve to welcome two new team members because they deserve more or things like that. Changing it to where it's not like you have to do it. It's you get to do it. You are in this business because you get to change someone's life. You get to help them financially or physically, um, with their health. Like this is, this is what we get paid to do is to change lives. So you're here because you get to be here. Not because you have to be, if you don't want to be here, you don't have to be here. You get to be here. So that is something that I'm very huge on as well is changing my words around. It's not something I have to do. It's something I get to do. And when I change it to, I deserve it and they deserve it, then everything falls into place because it's more than just you. And then one last thing is, um, you are you. Okay. You are you. Christy is Christy. Angel is Angel. You know, Ashley's Ashley. We all have our own stories. It doesn't matter how fast or how slow you are going, you are writing your own story, okay? You can have a million no's for your first six months, but guess what? You might have a million yeses for the rest of your business, for the rest of the time that you're in the business, and you're gonna be on that stage at conference, and you're gonna be able to connect to somebody else and help them. 
So just remember that your story is your own unique story and everything that goes on in your life, it happens for a reason. And you are in the right place at the right time for a reason. So, um, yeah, you just have to stay positive. You have to change the, the crappy thoughts into beautiful thoughts. And even if it doesn't happen within the first five minutes, it's going to happen eventually. So yeah, thanks for having me on. Of course. And actually we went to a, a seminar thing one time and it had Tony Robbins. And I remember him saying like, you have to, I can't remember the wording, but it was basically that you have to change your expectations into appreciation. And that's, that's what it was like you know, oh crap, I didn't sign two distributors say like I wanted to. No, guess what? I just planted so many seeds today. Like I know they're going to bloom tomorrow. It really is just all about how you talk. It really is like how you perceive things. Um, it's funny because Mark and Cindy, you guys, like you don't even know how good we have it with them. Like they are amazing people and they have this company going up and going forward and you want to be a part of it. Um, Cindy actually does a women's conference. She just started this a couple years ago and her whole theme, the last one was actually, I get to. And for one of the years, I can't remember what it was for. They sent us a little like plaque thing that said, I get to. And for some reason it's in our bathroom and <laughs> Aaron's he always, like, every time he uses the bathroom, he's like, I love that that's there because then I get to sit down and I get to, like, think about all the things that I'm grateful for. And then if you guys do that, you will just feel so good. And then you are going to get more things to be grateful for. Seriously, it's how it works. Um, okay, so I hope you guys have a good night and let's do this. And you guys know, like, we're here. We're all here for your help. Um, that's what we're here for. If you need personal development, if you need book recommendations, if you need training, whatever you need, like we are here. So you guys have no excuse not to be an amazing person and super successful and super awesome and change tons of lives. So I hope you guys have a good night and I will see you later. Bye.